I haven't again. read that. If you could send that to me, I would love to see it. But okay, I'm gonna Google Alec Baldwin point gun camera. We'll see if any stories come up. Imagine no, you went all the way through the camera. Every, he was aiming at the camera. I, I'm looking at 10 stories right now saying Alec Baldwin pointed gun at camera, okay. two days old. Nope, why don't so you link it and we can look at it? Why don't you link at it? We can look at it. Okay, so literally in the very first paragraph of this story, it says no, no, no. that he is pointing a revolver in the direction of a camera lens. Okay, in the direction of the camera. Okay. You didn't even know that he was aiming at the camera, which is like every yes, single story. Yes, I did. You Please stop. Oh my God, you're an instructor. You should know better. Okay. I know. Well, off I do know better. No, no, no. I know that when somebody stop, pulls stop. the trigger, no, 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 no. there's a person no, no, no. on the receiving on. end there of are, that barrel. It's their fault. There it are four extend, rules always. of gun safety, and you break every single one when you are an actor. I'm do you person. understand that there's a difference? Okay. If two people walk into a room and one person says, "Wow, X happened," and then the other person says, "Well, I don't know why or Z could have happened," that it would be incredibly fucking stupid for the pers first person and go, wow, you're making assumptions just like me, when the second person is saying, no, I'm just showing you there are like three alternatives that could have happened. Maybe none of us should make assumptions. Do you understand? I want you to tell me if he if he, um, if he he has Kevlar on his head. Maybe they CGI'd it out. No, I, that, I'm mm -hmm. not going to look at that. That's stupid. Okay, then your point is stupid. All these people like Alec Baldwin who are super anti-gun lobbyists, right? Well, you told me so. I was always saying that there was no way that he would be exonerated. <laughs> I already made up my mind, but I was waiting for like the actual details to come out so that I could decide what level of culpability he had, <laughs> right? I don't know. You know what? I don't know if we're going to disagree too much on this. Oh, I was we're like, going to hardcore disagree. Gun safety is like one of the things that I'm the most anal about. Okay, goody. Let's do it. All right, well, like, let's just hear, let me, let me hear your opinion then, because I'm not sure that I know it. Okay, my opinion is that anybody trying to assign any level of blame to anybody in this situation without having the full facts and knowledge about the situation is actually unironically brain dead, is in contributing to a horrible culture of an understa misunderstanding of gun safety and misunderstanding of, like, breaking news in general. There's been a lot of people coming out saying, like, oh, it was this guy's fault, or oh, he should have done that, or oh, he should have done that. I was like, bro, we have no idea, like, what happened yet, so maybe we should chill. That's my take. I actually, no, like, I don't disagree with that at all. Like, wait, but so, you literally, um, wait, hold on. You were literally tweeting, though, like, it's Alec Baldwin's fault for not today. checking the gun. Okay, so here's the thing that I learned the details today. So I, I had held my criticisms, like, temporarily. Like, so when this first happened, I literally had people coming into my chat, like, five minutes after the news broke. Like, oh my God, give me your full expert analysis right now. And I'm like, well, chill, because like, I don't even know what happened. And this is like such limited details, like what happened here? So I actually told people, no, I'm not gonna talk about it yet. You could ask anybody, right? Then I started tweeting out stuff that was like, what happened? I was just speculating and like trying to figure out what happened. But like, I absolutely agree. The first thing that happened, like within a day, you had people on the gun. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Side. I don't care about any of yeah. the meta narrative. I don't. I'm not here to discuss any of that. I don't care about any of that. Okay. So you literally uh, said uh, any of the meta narrative about what other people were saying, because I'm not here to talk about what other people were saying. Okay. So you okay, literally well, tweeted talk. out that it is true that Alec Baldwin's anti-gun stance led him to shooting that woman. He's so anti-gun that he refuses to even learn to respect them to as that deadly to weapons. Extent. Okay. So yeah, can you can you can you show yeah. me what story has come out that substantiates that point? Yes. So uh, the story that came out or the details that are coming out right now, and this just happened in the last like day and a half, um, show that he was practicing. He wasn't actually shooting a scene. He was rehearsing drawing the gun from a holster. Right. So he was rehearsing it. And at some point he put his finger on the trigger, pointed it at a human being and the gun went off. So these are facts now. Okay, right? so far you, you haven't have described to me. So, so far you haven't described anything wrong or bad happening yet, but keep going. Okay, so uh, so let's just break it down. Like here's the knowledge that I have so far. Okay, the knowledge that I have so far is that there were repeated safety issues on the set. Uh, there were claims that they were taking these prop guns, which by the way, a prop gun is not a fake gun. A prop gun can be a real gun that shoots real bullets. Like if I have like, my mouse on the set of a movie, it's a movie prop, right? So it's a prop gun because it's a prop in yep, a movie, I'm but aware it's a of real this. gun. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, a lot of people like, you know, as you know, seem to not realize like all of this. So um, it, there's reports that they were taking it out to the desert and plinking with it, like in between sets, which to me should be a big red flag. Like why we even have live ammunition on the set for this gun? That sounds like, you know, something that's the recipe for disaster right there. So we know that that was happening. We know that there were safety issues. We know that there were unionized people who were walking off the scene. 
um, because of safety issues. We Wait, know that there so, were two so a correction on that. Discharges. Unionized people yeah. walked off the scene for a variety of reasons related to a whole right, bunch right, of safety sets. reasons. No. It safety was some reasons. of it had to do with them. Uh, well, when you say safety reasons, some of those safety reasons were like not having appropriate social distancing or masking up for like okay. the coronavirus True. stuff. Other yeah, things where they felt like their trailers weren't being catered to well enough. Um, there was a whole host of reasons why people walked off. It's not because there were like so many guns okay. firing everywhere. Okay, just being clear on yeah, that. Yeah, that's Go ahead. fair. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Um, but, and they were also walking off because they had poor treatment. Like they were not being treated mm -hmm. right, you know? Um, but they were walking off the set because they were angry. Things weren't going right. The set wasn't being managed well. Mm -hmm. Then what you had happen, what, so from the timeline that I produced from like piecing together these articles that were coming out, like, like, ha like they were coming out so fast. Um, there were three guns sitting on the cart. One of them was the, the gun that had been used for target shooting. And uh, the director, assistant director, says that he checked the gun and it was unloaded. And then he put it down on the table and they went to lunch. Then when he came back, they asked him if he rechecked the gun and he was like, well, uh, I don't remember, which is a no, probably, right? Or else he would have seen that there was a round in there. Uh, but of course, we're taking him at his word here. Okay. Um, so then the assistant director handed it to Baldwin and said, cold gun which means that there's no bullet in there, no, or no, uh, sorry, no round in there at all, right? That he can practice and rehearse with it. While he was rehearsing, he drew the gun from his holster, pointed it at a person and pulled the trigger, which is the crux of what went wrong, right? Yes, so I agree. None of that, just to be ultra blame. clear, none of that is wrong so far. An actor pulling a gun and rehearsing a scene by doing what he would do in the scene, nothing here has demonstrated that Alec Baldwin's anti-gun stance has led him to shooting a woman. Okay. Okay. That's not true. Um, so first okay, of I'm all- I'm waiting for that part, because nothing that you've set okay. up to this point has, you've told me a whole bunch of background information about this. Yeah. Nothing that you've set up to this point has even begun to establish that fact. But go ahead. Okay. Okay. So again, he was not shooting a scene. Like there was no cameras rolling. According to, this is according to the director, the one who got shot in the shoulder. This is according to his like police statement. He said that Alec Baldwin was sitting on a pew and he was practicing drawing the gun and pointing it towards the camera. Now. Okay. Hold on. You, oh, okay. I have to clarify this because you've said this like five uh -huh. times. Do you think that's bad? Do you think rehearsing a scene is bad? Is this like, are you, cause you, I keep, think you keep bringing this up like it's a gun at yeah. a person okay. with your finger on the trigger okay. is bad. Yeah. So doing, <laughs> so rehearsing a scene by rehearsing the scene is bad. Also, you no, understand that the that, scene didn't involve, the scene did not involve him pointing the gun at the director. Didn't, didn't he point the gun at the camera that the shooter, that the person was behind? That's kind of, so there's kind of some like lack of lapse in clarity on that. Okay. Hold on. on that Careful. Point. Because if you're going to ever appeal to lapse of clarity, I'm going to immediately Reinstantiate my first argument that we probably shouldn't be making absolute statements about this until all the information no, has come we, out. We absolutely can at this point, and here's why. Okay, you ready for me to explain why? Sure, because right now if everything you've explained so far, you, you've, gun, just to be clear, if a person nothing you've said so far has, gun, has led to your initial point, but go ahead. Okay, if a person got shot by a gun, mm -hmm. it's because a person pointed the gun at them and pulled the trigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, regardless of Oh, well, I was just kind of aiming it at the camera and she happened to be standing there. Doesn't okay, I just want to, I just need to clear this up and maybe we just disagree in here, okay? Nothing about rehearsing a scene by doing what you would do in the scene is a wrong or bad thing. Uh, you keep bringing that up like it's like some big like, oh my God, I can't believe you rehearsed the scene by yeah. rehearsing the scene. That's, so it has, you have to give me something else besides that. Okay, he was pointing the gun mm -hmm. at a human being. Okay, what if in the scene, he points the gun at a human being. So according to like the standard operating protocol on set, they, that almost never happens. So okay. you're always supposed to be I've seen the same, the I've seen all the same shit that Lauren Southern has posted, okay. okay? But that's bullshit, okay? There might be scenes where you cheat the shot, but right now, every single person in this room can probably name 10 different shows where somebody's got a gun pointed right in their face, where somebody's holding a hostage, where people are sweeping rooms with okay. fingers on triggers, okay? So this idea that like, oh no, you always cheat the shot, it might be the case that for this particular shot, maybe the gun was supposed to be aimed right into the camera. And, and maybe that's also, what he was we're rehearsing. we're talking about blanks, right? We're talking about guns that have blanks in them. But in general, the rule is that if you have to shoot, if you have to point the gun at a person, 
that the rule is that there's extra layers of precautions that have to be taken. Like a That's person true. needs to go over there yep. and show the actor that it's unloaded mm-hmm. and do all of these things that were not done. Sure, but the right? question all is, is we don't on. know if this was Alec Baldwin's fault or if there were other okay. people on set that were responsible. My oh, understanding no, I think is that, that they're shared blame. Oh, no, I'm hold on. Sure no, 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 no. Okay. If you want to say that, that's fine. But you have to write like an apology tweet because that's completely different. No. Than, uh, yes, because earlier Just you because said. because you say that he's responsible for shooting a person doesn't mean that there weren't other people that contributed to it. There could be more than one person to blame. Earlier now, when you said true, it really is true that true. Alec Baldwin's anti-gun stance led to him shooting that woman. He's so anti-gun yes. that he refuses to even learn the respect to respect them. You're placing a ton of blame on yes. Alec Baldwin on a situation that you don't have Absolutely. all the facts about. But you don't do. know what happened. It, here's why. Here's why. Okay. Because, like and again, this is like based on the totality of the circumstances. So I'm also factoring into the, the equation who Al- Alec Baldwin is and how much experience he has and, and how long he's been advocating against guns and how dangerous they are. Right. And what happens, and I've seen this as an, as a handgun instructor, right? you know, that I'm a professional handgun instructor, right? I've seen this so many times. The most anti-gun people are always the most dangerous people to have behind a gun because they do not show them respect because they've not been raised to have respect for guns. And so these people, with their, when they have these anti-gun stances and they become complacent okay. over time. Uh, hold on. Hold I, 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 none of this. Ma- lit, for, so, okay, no, 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 okay. Firstly, everybody that's been in a range has seen some dipshit acting stupid with a gun. It happens all oh, the yeah. fucking time. Okay. People sure. do this all the time. Number one. I've had number guns two, pointed at me every month. Sure, that's great. <laughs> number two, you have, then I don't know why you're saying it's like only anti-gun people or mainly anti-gun people do this. Tons of people have horrible firearm etiquette. No, okay? I didn't say number mainly. One. I said that they're the most, be- they're the worst about it. Okay, Next that's foreigners. Foreigners are also terrible. Okay, th- this is hardcore equivocation. It sounds like almost the same thing, but I'll, I'll grant you that somehow there's some difference to be discovered in this sentence. The scholars can tear it apart later, okay? Number two, you don't know how much experience he has with firearms or how much experience he has on set with firearms. I don't know why you would just Alan say- Baldwin? Yeah, do you, do you- He's literally been in Hollywood for 40 years making shitty gun movies, dude. So why are you saying, so wouldn't that imply that he has a lot of experience or was that what you were implying initially? It would imply that he's extremely complacent, that he probably frequently oh, no, no, breaks okay, protocols. Okay, hold on, no, 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 you're, you're just, you're, no, 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 hold on. That is just the dumbest logical leap, or illogical leap I've ever heard why? in my life. Why? Why is it dumb? BX Bullet, she's been an instructor for how long? She must be incredibly complacent. If somebody's got a track record of being on set for no, 40 no, no. years and they haven't <laughs> shot anybody yet, wouldn't the idea be they're probably pretty decent when it comes to gun safety? No, that's, Isn't that- not how complacency, that's not how complacency works. So complacency happens when you become, because I, that wouldn't happen to me because I have, I follow the rules of gun safety as most everybody who's ever been taught the rules of gun safety and as a responsible firearm owner, we all fire, like I promise you, there is not a single responsible firearm owner in the country keyword responsible, who would point a gun at a person intentionally and pull the trigger. Bro, you keep saying this, they're actors. Okay, but he, but you know what? You're making a leap. No, I'm not, he is an actor. That's not a leap, that he actually is an actor. The leap is that he was, that he was pointing it at the person he was supposed to point in the scene. But he wasn't, he was pointing at the director carelessly. Stop saying he was pointing, he was pointing at the camera. The director was behind the camera. I true. Okay, so the gun. So, are you saying that the uh, the bullet went through the camera? Like that's what through? that's what I have read over and I over again. I haven't read that. If you could send that to me, I would love to see it. But okay, I'm gonna Google Alec Baldwin point gun camera. We'll see if any stories come up. Okay. Um, okay, we've got so yeah, The Guardian. Like, Alec Baldwin was pointing gun at camera when it went off. Director says BBC. Alec Baldwin was pointing, pointing gun at, at camera, camera. in. Re- that's what I just said. Okay. Yes. But did it say that he hit the camera and it went through the camera? Some freak accident went through the camera and hit her on the I don't side? know if it went through the camera, but your framing of this That's was that not, he was that twirling the gun around on set, just aiming it at people, like whatever, no. like he's just having fun, no. okay? But if he's rehearsing no. a scene, that's exactly what you're implying. If you don't understand that, you need to go back and like like watch your whatever you just said, okay? When he was rehearsing the scene, he was pointing it at the director, right? He pointed it at the director. He had he, to no, point first it at of all, the director, wait, he shot her. Who do you think died? Oh, okay, sorry, the, the photographer, the director The of cinematographer, the person that's running the camera. She's the director of photography. Sure. Okay, so that's why I said director. The, okay, the cinematographer is behind the camera while you're filming. That's why she got shot, because he was aiming at they the camera. They were not filming at the time. If you read the article, let stop. me send okay. you an Okay, no, 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 please stop. Oh my God, okay. you're actually killing me, okay? <laughs> when you're rehearsing a scene, Okay, 
I don't, I don't do anything with film and I will still bet my life on this point because I know it's correct because I've done a lot of random shit with tech. I guarantee you that when you are rehearsing a scene, there's probably at least one person either watching a monitor or with their eyes on the camera or down the lens. I seriously doubt that they're just rehearsing and everybody's standing around with their fucking cell phones watching them do his shit. There's probably somebody running the camera. They might even be shooting it might just be rehearsal, but they might even be shooting to see okay, how it well looks on film. Well, now you're the one who's speculating, though. Okay, so I, we're no, 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 no. My yeah, original point. No, that no, he must have no. Been pointing it at no. the camera, and it somehow the bullet went through the camera. No, magic bullet went all the way through the camera. Every, he was aiming at the camera. I, I'm looking at ten stories right now, saying Alec Baldwin pointed gun at camera. Okay. Two days old. Assistant, like all of these are saying, like Alec Baldwin okay, was practicing pointing revolver at, at camera. camera or not. Okay, the third rule of gun safety. Are you aware of the rules of gun safety? I know all four, the and you break. Oh, you're, no, no, hold on. I know all four, and you break all. Be aware you of break. Your all, you're wrong. Please stop. Oh my God, you're an instructor. You should know better. Okay, I know well, all. I do know better. No, no, no. I know that when somebody stop, pulls stop. the trigger, no, 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 and there's a person no, no, no. on the receiving hold end there of are, that barrel. It's their fault. There it's are four extent, rules always. of gun safety, and you break <laughs> every single one when you are an actor. Okay. Do you understand? Uh, no, because if you actually read the requirements, it's you're treat every gun as if it's loaded on set. Then why right? would so any actor? Then why would any shoot, actor point, point any point gun, gun ever at any person ever on set? Because so, if you're required to do that, then you're also required to show the actor or actress physically, manually open the gun on set and be like, "It's empty." Right, and that didn't happen. Alec didn't, he didn't see that the gun was empty before he pointed it at a person. That should have happened. Do okay. you agree with that? I need you to or understand. Do you think that it's I, okay I, you're you're to jumping just topics. Trust. I need you to understand that in every single scene where somebody is doing a hostage scene or whatever, they are breaking at least three of the four rules of gun safety at that point in time. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to kill something. Don't point the gun at something you're not willing to destroy. Be aware of what's beyond your target. Treat every gun as though it's loaded. All four of these are being broken when you're doing a hostage scene do you understand that i need a yes or no i need a yes or no to that yes okay so then don't sit here everybody's dumbing this online okay it's like they all looked up no 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 stop let me finish no no let me finish if you want to talk about protocol that's fine okay but every wannabe gun nut online who became an expert of this shit overnight is trying to cite the four rules as though these apply to actors okay actors are in no don't you don't agree with me stop saying you agree with me you don't because you just cited the four rules at me and you said he broke rule number three so you clearly don't agree with me okay because he did because there was nobody because first of all if he was going to be pointing the gun at a person he was supposed to actually see that the gun was unloaded that's the standard protocol he was supposed to see it with his own eyes if you're going to point a gun at a person on the set there's an extra layer of safety that's supposed to occur that didn't happen okay now you can say that yeah man this was a horrible accident i agree you can say man poor alec baldwin i bet that this is fucking traumatizing for him and i honestly feel bad so for you're guy. this is all pointless conjecture that has nothing to do with okay. what i'm talking about all i wanted no, no, you to listen, do let me, let all me i want my thought. okay finish your conjecture okay before like, we go okay, back and skip all of this, this conjecture because none you know, of this saying, is establishing I, the fact i don't i don't care about the fake sympathy for the the, the trump hater i don't care about any of that okay i don't give a fuck it absolutely is okay it absolutely is i don't care i don't care okay all i'm saying is that right now because you're giving me this whole spiel about it's tragic. I don't care that it's tragic. I don't care about any of that. All I'm trying to establish is whether or not you have the necessary facts to show that Alec Baldwin's anti-gun stance led to him shooting a woman. He's so okay. anti-gun that he refuses to even learn to respect them as deadly weapons. You haven't established I any of that. I do agree with that. Okay. I understand right, you agree with that, but you okay, haven't okay, laid okay, the case out all, for it. I came on to talk about the situation and how we can use it to move forward with like better gun safety and training everybody, even anti-gun people. We don't. To be there is nothing to take from this. Safety. There is nothing to but, take from but this. But you're like drilling down this one tweet, which is kind of weird. Because but, the besides, tweet if was incredible. All of the subtweets, you can see that I kind of like softened my stance on that a little bit after some back and forth with people. So like, I don't know why you're drilling down that exact. Tweet. Because you tweeted it. What do you agree. mean? Because it was the most inflammatory tweet you made, number one. Number two, there's nothing to be taken from actors about general gun safety from people. And it's another point that irritates me because I would push people as far away from that mentality as possible. You should never, what ever, mentality? the idea that anything actors do with guns is anything a normal human being should ever do with guns. I, I disagree wholly. I think that if there's one thing we should learn from this situation, it's that guns need to be treated with that kind of respect on the set. Whether they 
are or not, that's, I mean, I guess that that's a point to debate. They should be, absolutely. You should never, here is a statement. I need you to say you agree or disagree with this. I need you to agree or disagree with this, okay? Here is my statement. A human being that is not an actor should never emulate anything they see on a TV show with a gun. Do you agree or disagree with that statement? I don't really understand that statement. Let me say it one more time. A civilian human being, not an actor, should never be emulating what they see on TV when it comes to firearms, like play pointing it at people, play taking hostage. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. They should never break the rules of gun safety. So then you should never take anything that you learn from a fucking set or from from a fucking TV show and say like, oh, there's something we can learn from real life. Bullshit, there's not. You don't use guns like that in real life. No, this is exclusively no, 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 for actors. No, you're, you're totally missing my point here. My point was that this tragedy should teach us something and that something should be that guns should be more respected on sets of movies. Okay, right? but there's, we've gone like what, like 40 years without there being an accident? It doesn't seem like this is like a huge problem in the I industry. I agree, I think it's really fucking stupid when people are clamoring to ban blanks and shit, like calm down. Okay, okay? I don't know how you right. managed to there's pivot that into of, like some pro-gun conservative talking point. That's not what I was getting at, okay? But what I'm saying is that there haven't been like hardly what any accident. I'm, I'm not, I'm a pro-gun, but I'm not even conservative. Because because you, you somehow, twi- no, 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 because you twisted this into like, yeah, I agree. We shouldn't, people, liberals are talking about banning guns. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying that. I didn't say liberals. You said you, conservatives. No, okay. You're the one making it political. You, you found a way to give me a rehash talking point for something that I'm not talking about, okay? okay. I'm not talking mm-hmm. about banning guns from sets, okay? You decided okay. to bring that up because it's a good no, narrative point. I said point. I agree. Okay? What I'm saying, stupid. what you I'm, I didn't, I didn't say, that. I didn't talk about that at all. What I said was to say that this is really good to talk about because like implying that there's some wider problem in Hollywood, we have thousands of TV shows and movies that film with firearms all the fucking time. It doesn't yeah, seem like this is a problem. huge endemic problem in Hollywood. The, yes, I, I believe that it is. I believe that there is a lapse in complacency probably pretty frequently. People get really comfortable with the fact that there haven't been any incidents, right? It doesn't matter if it's only happened once every 40 years. And I'm not saying we need to ban blanks or anything like that. I'm saying we need to look at this and be like, how did this happen? And how can we prevent this from happening again? Because the protocols existed. They just weren't being followed. So I agree with that. But the problem is, is that neither of us have all the facts yet. So maybe we should wait because this is one of the very few cases where a negligent discharge happens and we're probably going to get all the facts because it happened in a movie set with like 100 witnesses. I think the only fact I'm missing is where the bullet, like how, like, did the bullet hit the camera first? No, the ultimate, exactly no, no, because the ultimate fact is, is who was the one that was ultimately responsible on set for making sure the gun was cold? Because if it was supposed to be, if the standard operating procedure is that once an actor is handed a gun by a prop master or an armor or an assistant director, once he's handed that gun and the gun is declared cold, is the actor supposed to be fucking with it? Is he supposed to be checking it? Is he supposed to be racking the gun? Because if the answer is no, and that's standard operating procedure, and Alec Baldwin was given a gun by somebody that was supposed to clear it, and they said it was clear, and then he shot somebody, then it seems kind of fucking stupid to tweet that it's Alec Baldwin's anti-gun stance that led to him shooting a woman. Well, I think I think that the first tweet, that was a subtweet, actually, when I was arguing with somebody but the the first tweet was that this this is a takeaway for gun safety right people who are super anti-gun show complacency and disrespect to you don't know any of that you don't know any of that you're just just talking shit everything you're saying is so stupid right now do you understand it's not yes it is you don't you can't prove that anybody here is raised to respect guns do not (sighs) handle guns disrespectfully even on the scene of a movie no there are plenty of actors who have all come out will smith keanu reeves there are plenty of actors who actually like do understand guns and would like be like, no, wait, let's make sure this gun is safe before I go haphazardously pointing it at people. You and don't know. The you, no one is haphazardly pointing anything. That's like the yes, fifth he time was. he was rehearsing a scene. <laughs> That's not haphazardly pointing something. He was rehearsing a fucking scene. He was handed a gun supposedly and told that it was cold. So what is he? There's just no way that I can exonerate him from all blame. I can say that I think that multiple things happened that were bad and multiple people are ultimately to blame, but I I, I just cannot see a way 
that this turns out that he did not have some level of responsibility for what happened. If it like turns if out, I've already laid it out exactly. Okay, if if the responsibility for clearing a weapon is given to the person in charge of handling weapons, and if actors mm. aren't supposed to be fucking with weapons after they've been mm. handed the weapon, and he was told mm. the weapon was clear after he was handed it, then that would exonerate him from the responsibility of that, generally. Now, there might be some higher level, like maybe his production team hired some unsafe people, maybe that there's some responsibility there, but in terms yeah, of that okay. particular instance, if he was handed a gun, told it was cold, and SOP is for actors not to fuck with guns once they've been handed them, then in that case, it doesn't seem like it's his fault. Now, if actors have I, the responsibility still, of checking yeah. firearms that they're given, I don't know if they do on this set, if those were those rules at the time, and he didn't check the weapon, then it would probably be his fault. But again, okay. we don't have that information, which is why I think it's really stupid that people are coming well, out saying like- Well, you're also just assume, making assumptions too, though. You no, can't blame me for making assumptions you're, when you're no, also you making assumptions. No, you just don't understand. The camera. No, 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 no. What I'm doing yes, is- I do understand. No, no, you absolutely <laughs> do not, okay? Here's what's happening, okay? Two people walk into a room, you see something, and you say, oh my God, I know exactly exactly what happened and then i say no i didn't no, do that stop. i actually waited like three days for can, all the facts I, to no, come out no you didn't you didn't you mind. didn't even know who got shot you didn't even know who was aiming at the camera how are you saying you had all the facts what do you mean i didn't know who got shot the director of photography got shot you, and the director both got you shot you didn't you didn't even know that he was aiming at the camera which was like every yes, single story yes i did you, just because wait, he was wait, aiming at the camera put money, do you want to put do you want to put money on that you want to bet money on that do you want to bet money on that because what i said was that he was do you want to do 20 dollars because a person got shot do you want to do 20 Bucks on that. You don't. You believe that at the beginning of this I, conversation, I you knew that know it was that he was pointing towards the camera. Okay. Well, when if somebody wants to the get camera, the clip on that, you, I'm pretty sure person. you. I'm pretty. If anybody wants to grab no, the clip no, on that, no. that's You're fine. You're trying to okay. twist my words. I'm not trying. You, like, you literally said you, clear what I was no, saying. No, absolutely not. Yes. Why did you? Well, point, why did you make me Google it? Why did you make me? Why did you make me Google it? Strong me. Destiny, quit strong arguing me. Listen. Do you agree that he was pointing the gun at a person? Yes or no? I would never phrase it that way, no. Okay, but a person got shot. So is this a magic JFK bullet? Did the bullet curve like in the movie Wanted? So when you utter the phrase, point it at a person, okay? Mm -hmm. There's a much different connotation there than point it at a camera, okay? Do you understand why, like? No, it's Hold not. Just the gun every, was pointed oh at God. a person. Yes or no? Was it pointed at a person, yes or no? You understand that you don't have to point a gun necessarily right at a person or be intending to point. This is why one of the four rules is be aware of what's beyond your target, right? This is why you use hollow points for self-defense instead of FMJ rounds because you can over-penetrate targets and hit other people, right? This is why you have to be careful with ricochet or with fragmentation yeah. because, so why, so don't don't say yeah like you agree with me because you're sitting here asking a dumb no, rhetorical I mean, I question. Agree. Like, no, you don't because you're saying, oh, are you telling me that this bullet hurt someone even if it wasn't aimed directly at them? I have no idea and neither do you. It might be that he literally shot at the camera and the bullet ricocheted through. It might be that he shot at the camera and the round fragmented and hit the other woman in the chest. I don't know those details, but guess what? You don't either. Stop saying okay because you just laid matter, out. Dude. You just laid out if that you, it must have been a magic bullet. You just if said you it must have been a magic bullet it to hit person, somebody. Listen, you're responsible for what comes out of the barrel of a gun, right? So in this case, regardless of, oh, well, it ricocheted or it curved or some kind of crazy shit happened. That's not okay? crazy. Regardless, this is why we use hollow points for self-defense. It's not crazy. It's not crazy. It's like, hold on. I have to, I, no, no, wait. I got to mute you for one second. I have to mute you. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I have to mute her because because gun safety is like one of the few things I'm super anal about, okay? It is not crazy, okay, for people to get hit randomly with gunshots that aren't intended to hit them, okay? This is why in self-defense situations, one of the reasons why you use hollow points isn't just because they're more lethal. It's because a hollow point is less likely to over-penetrate targets or ricochet or fragment and hit other people, okay? This is why we don't advocate for using full metal jacket rounds inside houses for home defense. It is absolutely a problem that exists with firearms, okay? There's an extra layer. <laughs> okay, I, sorry, checks. I'm back. Okay, what? Okay, listen, let, here, let me let me just make a point, because you've okay, been growling. Sure. I, I understand, I just, I, okay, I'll be I quiet, but I just have to let Calm you know, down. every single time you say <laughs> magic bullet, I have to mute you, because I do gun safety on my stream, and I can't have somebody saying some stupid shit, like, it's a magical curved bullet, because, I was like- I being fucking intentionally sarcastic. No, you're not Destiny. being sarcastic, you you're being, being uninformed yeah, believe, and right. irresponsible believe, oh, about bullets, okay? I believe in magic okay? bullets, but that's okay. you're right, Go I ahead. believe, you're right, I believe in magic bullets, and I believe the bullets can be curved. I'm a professional shooter. Okay, then I don't know how you're missing 
so much please of this, but go ahead. Please do not act okay. like you somehow have authority on this matter. Okay. Like, you know, and I'm a dumbass who knows nothing about guns. Okay, you're, just, you're saying a lot of life. weird shit, okay? Like, are you telling okay. me it's possible that he shot at a camera bullet, and the bullet came out? I was literally came joking. You weren't Obviously. joking. You were trying okay, to make a point. you're right, Destiny. You're right. I believe in magic bullets. No, okay, you were we trying to establish the point that it's unfathomable that he could have been aiming at the camera and somebody else gotten hurt, which is not unfathomable. It's totally possible. The gun was pointed at a person. That Do you know that? person got shot. Yeah, it went through her chest and hit a person on the other side of her. A ricochet is not so going to do you, that. You know for a fact, what do you mean a ricochet is not going to do that? You don't think you can I fire a through a camera? I fucking ricochet you don't, a foot away from my face and had it surgically removed that's from great. my you face. You understand that you can literally put a nine millimeter round through a fucking car door and kill somebody. You understand that, right? You don't think it could go I through a camera? I do understand penetration, yes. Okay, so no, I, it, I think that that's highly unlikely. But we how do you move know? On. That? I don't. I do, I just. I believe that because regardless, he was pointing it at the person. Whether the person was standing beside beside or behind something doesn't matter. But it if, does. Like first of all, she. There's no. It wasn't a ricochet. The implication. Okay. You don't know that though. You don't have these okay. facts. You're speculating. Okay, I guess we'll wait for the facts to come out. To Thank you. That that's all I asked. Thank you. That's all I asked. Okay. Just all wait right. for the facts. Now, also, can you can you just listen here? He was being complacent, okay? You don't know there that, but go ahead. a large amount of complacency here okay. because he should have, if he was going to be pointing the gun in the direction of a person, he should have been able to see that the gun was unloaded because that's part of the protocol. Part of the protocol is that if you have to shoot it, you're, whenever possible, you're supposed to avoid having to point the gun at a person using you like don't camera know. tricks and Stop stuff. Stop quoting the <laughs> random one line off a of paper. You don't know for this particular shot if it needed to be pointed at the camera. You don't know this shot. It might have okay. been the case that for Listen, this it needed to I'm happen. Talking. If he were going to be pointing it in the direction of a person, okay, Pointing it, aiming it, doesn't matter. If he was going to be pointing the gun in the direction of a person, do you agree or disagree that there should have been an extra layer of protection to where somebody comes and says, hey, like, here's the unloaded gun. It's unloaded. Let me see. Okay, cool. I know I would do that. I know anytime, anytime. Any responsible gun owner yeah, that I know would anytime, do that. First of all, there are very few responsible gun owners, okay? Most of the people that That's own bullshit. guns in this country That's are absolute bullshit. trash bullshit. when it comes to gun safety. That's, That's the number one. Is, it's absolutely fucking true, okay? I would never be caught dead with an NRA fucking loser near me handling a fucking firearm because that's a death trap waiting to happen, okay? It's Dude, absolutely you just true, said okay? That there are no number such one, thing as responsible number one, owners, absolutely true because most of them aren't because most of them are dog what? shit gun safety. That's this is why their fucking six year olds find their firearms <laughs> in their house and fucking kill themselves with it, okay? Absolutely, okay? Number one, that okay? You're generalizing number two, all gun I'm owners generalizing. I'm ones. generalizing yes. and you're telling me well Alec Baldwin was complacent because I just know so he seriously you, you don't know that yes I do how does he how do you I, I just feel like you're completely wrong here like you, but you haven't wrong? you don't I mean, know anything about what actually happened neither do you but I'm the one saying we should wait to draw conclusions I'm agreeing so that I don't are you drawing conclusions destiny I'm why, not, why did you agree to have the conversation then destiny and then continue to draw conclusions the entire time do you understand like do you person. understand that there's a difference okay if two people walk into a room and one person says wow X happened and then the other person says well I don't know Y or Z could have happened that it would be incredibly fucking stupid for the pers first person to go wow you're making assumptions just like me when the second person is saying no I'm just showing you there are like three alternatives that could have happened maybe none of us should make assumptions do you understand Okay, hey, well, you were the one that was arguing vehemently that she was pointed it at, that it was pointed at the camera. Because every so. single story that's okay. come out has said that. Now There's that might- another story that I was trying to talk to you about, right? That, that leaves some, and I, and I acknowledge at the beginning of our conversation that I still have a lot of questions and facts that haven't like come out yet. Right? Wait, what, is, what is the other, what is the other story? What do you, yet. what do you mean the other story? Okay. So did you, did you hear the actual director's testimony that he was sitting in a pew and he had this gun in a cross straw holster and he was practicing pulling the gun out. And then the director said that, I don't want to misquote it, but it made it sound like they weren't actually manning the camera. Like he was just rehearsing it kind of casually. Nope. Why don't so you link it and we can look at it. Why don't you link at it? We can look at it. Um, yeah, I linked it in my, <sighs> you're right. You haven't, you haven't an all right night, Destiny. 
Yeah, I just, it sucks that, like, so many yeah, people like you are so gleefully happy that, like, the Trump insulter, like, shot and killed a woman. You're so happy. Like, you love it. All, Dude, you saw this and you were all, jumping okay, stop, for joy. Stop, You're like, stop. oh, yes, that motherfucker killed somebody. Hell yes. Back up. That is absolutely Back up. what you were thinking. You couldn't stop. wait to make okay, those I'm tweets. I'm going to mute you if you don't stop. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. When you first got on the call, I said, let me preface this by saying, I don't like how, and you said, no, 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 I don't want to talk about all that. Do you know why I said that? Do you know why I said that? Because it's the exact same, it's the exact same. Yeah, you were about to say, oh, I don't believe this thing, and then talk about how you believe that thing. Vosh does it all the time, too. Oh, I'm just going to preface this by saying, I'm going to be total good faith, and then proceed to be total bad faith. I don't want you to come off, I don't, when I talk to somebody, no, when I talk to somebody, I don't want them to start with, oh, I don't believe in that, blah, 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 just tell me what you think. I don't want somebody to do. I don't want somebody to assume I was going to do something and then accuse me of doing it when they didn't even give me the chance to say what I was going to say in the first place. The Please only thing that. I've That's accused you of is your tweet. No. Yes. Okay, listen. <laughs> I'm okay. quoting your tweet at but you, but go ahead. before I even started and you said you didn't want to talk about it because you didn't want me to get, have a chance to defend myself, okay? What no, I was no, what I just said was, was I hated, oh, I hated that people in my industry, the gun industry, were so quick to meme and gloat and laugh and like what you did yeah arrested for murder yep, i've okay. never done that no when you're I tweeting didn't. shit besides, like when his i aunt said when i said i think this is a tragedy and mm -hmm. honestly i can admit that i do feel some sympathy for him you were like don't lie so like i can't what do you want me to say? Like, I'm being genuine. Your, your I, tweet I'm is literally talking about how he I had do. an anti-gun. Do you don't know any of this stuff. Anti-gun people in their complacency, in their shitty fucking movies. But you don't know if any of that happened. You're just feeding and in. They, you're like an ideologue feeding into a narrative that you okay, don't have the facts to support. Even that tweet doesn't justify you saying that I was gleefully happy that this happened. That I, It's happen enough for me. I think it's enough for me. It's a little bit of induction there, but I'm pretty comfortable with it. All of my VODs where I've talked about this and see that I've, from the beginning, have been demolishing the people who have been gleefully, you know, memeing and shit. I don't think that's appropriate. I don't. I think it makes our side look bad. I think it makes gun owners look bad. But you like, think I talking like about how... Baldwin. I don't like him. Yeah, I, right? I can tell. But, like, don't worry. I'm not happy that this happened. Okay, where is this? Show me the story with the thing. I want to see the story. Actually, it's an The lead is that he was... That he was pointing at uh, person he was pointing to see. Somebody linked it on one of my subtweets. Stop Okay, well, we can take a moment to find it. All right, hold on, let's find it. Saying it's pointing at the yeah. camera, the director and, behind the camera. Yeah, that's okay, what I was I'm trying to say that. from the beginning. Like, I don't want to misstate it, but sounded okay, so like. Sorry, saying that. Okay, the... Find this unlikely. Blah blah blah. Golly, I tweet a lot. Uh, the bullet went through the camera. Like, that's what. That's what I have read over and over. Okay, okay, okay. The lead is that he was that he was pointing at the person he was right. pointing at the scene, but he wasn't. He was pointing at the director carelessly. Stop saying he was pointing at the. Actually, it's an actor. The lead is that he was working at the person who was supposed to point the scene, but he wasn't. He was pointing at the director carelessly. Stop saying he was pointing at the camera. Let me just look at it. Hold on one second. I gotta make sure. Hold on. I gotta make sure for 30 seconds. Hold on. One second. One second. One second. Find the story. I can't. She keeps talking. Actually, it's an actor. The lead is that he was working that he was pointing at the person who was supposed to point the scene, but he wasn't. He was pointing at the director carelessly. Stop saying he was pointing. He was pointing at the camera. The director was behind the camera. Okay, so the gun. So are you saying that the uh, the bullet went through the camera? Like that's what that's what I have read over and I over. I haven't again. read that. If you could send that to me, I would love to see it. But okay, I'm gonna Google Alec Baldwin point gun camera. We'll see if any stories come up. Okay. Um. Okay, we've got so yeah, the Guardian. Like, Alec Baldwin was pointing gun at camera when it went off. Actually, okay. isn't. Okay, I just need to make sure I got this. This is. I think that this is the one. <clears throat> um. Okay, well, this isn't the right one. Damn it. Hmm. Somebody's going to have to uh, find it in my... If somebody finds it and links it in Discord, in my, I'm talking to my chat. That would be cool. Um. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay, so it says. Wait, no, 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 no! Just link me, link me, link me, link me, link me, link me. I don't want to. Okay, okay, all right, all right. All right. Um, it says. Susan Hutchins, we're standing. Okay, give me a minute. I'm just gonna read this. You can read it, Jason. Hold on. Okay, I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and wait for somebody to read it to me. Okay. Russ and Matagra, Hyle, Hyle, Hutchins killed. All guns are seen. Involved the active pointing revolver in the direction of a camera lens. The film. Okay. 
who was showing them how he planned to pull the gun from Okay, so literally in the very first paragraph of this story, it says no, no, no. that he is pointing a revolver in the direction of a camera lens. Okay, in the direction of the camera. Okay, but, but read further down when it goes into the detail about exactly where people were standing. I mean, there, it, it's actually, there's a lot of detail here. Okay, all right, hold on. Susan, who is... Also injured, and then it says the cast of the crew had been assured the ball was handling a cold gun, meaning no live round. Safety protocols set required the film's armor. Blah, blah, blah. Check to make sure the barrel was empty. With their work, double checked by Russ, assistant director. Didn't know the fire was handling. Susan Hutchins was standing behind the camera to see the angle. Behind the camera to see the angle. Baldwin was sitting on a wooden pew facing south towards the camera crew, outfitted in a western garb. After noticing a shadow, Susan Hutchins repositioned their gear. We're talking with Baldwin, who was showing them how he planned to pull the gun from his holster when it discharged. Reed Russell, a cameraman who was standing next to the two, told police that he remembered Joel having blood on his person. And Miss Hutchins speaking, saying she can feel her legs. Susan told investigators Hutchins grabbed her midsection, which point he noticed he was bleeding from his shoulder. Hutchins announced dead Thursday. The Russ production had been grappling with labor issues in the lead up to the accident. Several. Russ began shooting. Okay. Fault and blame. Okay, wait. So, what part of this is supposed to be exonerating your version of the story? Okay. Um, also, I'd like to be clear. This story literally says that the protocol was for two other people to clear the firearm before handling right. it to Baldwin. It wasn't done. So that yeah. le that explicitly exonerates Baldwin, assuming this article no, is true. No, I think that more than one person can take the blame here. Yeah, there um, are two people that would take the... So your yeah. article says that safety protocols on the set required that the film's armorer, Hannah Gu uh, mm -hmm. Gutierrez-Reed, checked to make sure that the barrel was empty with her work double-checked by Rust assistant director Dave Halls. Neither of these implicate Alec Baldwin as having a responsibility to clear the firearm. Just because a Variety.com article doesn't put any blame to him doesn't mean that my opinion cannot still be that he is has blame. Nobody him cares case. about your random opinion. Okay, okay? Well, it's about what is like the actual safety is protocol. An expert opinion. No, and yours uh, is clearly not. it's is not. Right? No, you Wait, don't. You are not. An are you a professional you, handguns instructor? Are you a professional set prop designer or armorer? No, so we're on equal ground okay, here, you? okay? We're on equal footing. <laughs> no, we're no, not. We're I on have equal footing. Handgun we're on equal footing here, okay? Whatever professional handgun experience you have is totally different because never in your entire fucking life, okay, are people handing other people guns and clearing them for them on the range, and that person on the range assumes it to be true. If it is, it should be shut down. You agree with wait, that, right? Wait, hold on, what? Wait, people do not clear guns Sorry. for other people generally. You always clear your own firearm. Right? Yeah, I mean, so, well, so then, if you're so, a brand new shooter, yeah, you're teaching them how to clear their own We're not talking sure. about yeah. brand, yes. So whatever experience we have on a range is clearly far different from here. Also, I would never clear a firearm, hand somebody that firearm and tell them it's clear so that they can play shooting in the direction of other people. So whatever experience we have on a range is very far removed from what's happening on a, on a set where somebody is getting a gun. My whole argument is that it shouldn't be. My uh, whole argument is that while you may be correct to say that like they they do things differently on movie sets, clearly. Do you right? think maybe maybe <laughs> instead of going by ranges which have God knows how many accidents every fucking year, maybe we should just defer to Hollywood that's had this one tragic accident over a course of forty years. Because they don't you, they don't have real ammo on the set. It's a, you don't need real <laughs> ammo to kill that's somebody. Ha ha ha! What you don't need real ammo to kill somebody, right? Well, I mean. Like the uh, the only other times that this happened has been like a freak accident, like freak accident, like barrel obstruction, which now they they check the barrel every yeah, time. True, there's different protocols. The sure, I'm just saying that if there's um, been a relatively good track record of safety in Hollywood for handling firearms, seems like whatever they're doing is probably okay. So the idea that somebody works at a range where accidents and misfires and all sorts of crazy shit happen all the fucking time is going to come on their high horse and be like, oh well, Hollywood needs to change their shit. Probably not the case. Pro pro Hollywood's probably okay with what they're doing. This seems I like a freak accident. Seems like some dumb shit happened. This should be a call for people to respect guns more, regardless of their politics, regardless of their complacency, right? There are protocols. The reason that I, I would agree, the reason that it's so safe is because these protocols are in place. If they're not being followed, that means that people are becoming complacent. Sure, they're but not the problem is- the guns. No, the po no, no, the protocols were put in place so that people respected the guns and treated them with respect. If that's not happening, then the complacency is the fault of everybody on the set, especially the person who pointed the gun at a person, presumably in the direction of a person and pulled the trigger, sure. resulting in that person's but death. The problem is, is you keep alluding to this protocol, whether it was followed or not, and just going off of the article that you linked me, the, the people that were supposed to check the gun were the assistant director and the mm -hmm. armorer, 
not Alec Baldwin. So how do you get that Alec Baldwin is responsible? I don't, I don't know that he was supposed to physically check it himself, but I, I remember reading multiple places that said that you're supposed to treat every gun as if it's loaded and you're, 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 you're supposed to Do you to understand avoid, that you're, you're in a psychosis right now? I need you to no, understand that you're being psychotic. Out of your no, 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 no. You, you're being no, 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 no. You are being, you're, you're being no, no, no. intentionally obtuse. No, 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 I'm not. You are being psychotic yes, right now, okay? You keep repeating back to me these things that I've already told you are dumb, that you know are dumb, right? When you handle no, a firearm, you should never aim it at another person. That doesn't dumb. apply here. We're on a set. We're actors on a set. We're not, we are aiming guns okay. at people. So stop repeat. Stop regurgitating. He was not supposed to aim the gun at the director of photography, Destiny. He didn't you're aim aiming it. aiming at you. No, no, hold on. You keep doing this thing that's driving me crazy. You keep saying, well, if he was pointing at the gun at an actor and they were doing a scene, but that's not what happened. He was not doing that. He was rehearsing and just recklessly pointing the gun at people. He's not Clearly. pointing the gun at people. He, he wasn't supposed to point the gun at the director. He he's not pointing it at the director. He's pointing it towards the camera. Camera lens. The director stands How do you behind know the camera. That? It says your own in the article says of the it. camera. Your own article says that you linked me. Says it pointing says a revolver in the direction, in the direction of a camera of lens. The camera. What do you think the scene was? You don't even know what the Who fucking scene hit? is. Who got shot? The people the that stand near the, the camera. Lady? The people that stand near the camera. That's who got shot. So he pointed the gun at a person, yes or no? It's it's, if you can't concede that he pointed the gun at a person, if and somebody got, got shot, shot it seems likely that he did. But what Thank we're you. trying to figure yes. out is if there was a wrongdoing there. If his goal for that rehearsal was to show them what it looked like when he pointed the gun towards the camera, then probably people behind the camera are going to have a gun pointed at them. Do you understand that? Or is there some part of that that doesn't make sense to you? It doesn't make sense that he would point the gun at somebody and pull the trigger without using the, the protocols in place, the safety protocols in place of reconfirming that the gun was unloaded before doing such a thing. And, and if that's not a protocol, if that's not something that they regularly do, if they regularly are just rehearsing drawing and point the gun at people and pull the trigger, to me, that's reckless, that's complacent, and that needs to change. Okay, so your sentence is, it doesn't make sense that he would point the gun and pull the trigger without like following protocol, right? Yeah, and if that protocol isn't being uniformly sure. like, and the protocol you know, if that, is if that's not being really sure. and the protocol enforced, yep. then it needs yep. to be okay. Obviously, okay. So the protocol is yes. according to this variety great. article. The protocol is is that the armorer and the assistant director are supposed to clear the gun. Now, if the assistant okay. director hands you a firearm right. and says it's clear, how does this make it Alec Baldwin's fault? I don't know how many other ways I can say this. Okay. Right? He didn't see that the gun was clear. They're supposed to avoid pointing the guns at people unless they absolutely you're, you're, have This to. is psychotic. You're actually psychotic. How is that psychotic? Because you're, you're running <laughs> through the same stupid shit that doesn't make sense. You're saying they're not supposed to point it at people. He's pointing it towards the lens, towards the camera lens, and the people that are filming are next to or behind the camera. Why do you keep saying he's not supposed to point it at those people? Because a person got hit and killed. You're, 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 that's a non sequitur. The person got hit. No. My argument is that it seems, now I don't know, which is why I'm not the one making the absolute same sequitur, but it seems to be the case that a person got hit and killed, not because of Alec Baldwin's recklessness, but because the assistant director nor the armorer cleared the firearm pop, uh, properly. Okay. That I seems disagree. to be the problem. How do you disagree? I believe that it was a, I'm going to say, I believe that it was a combination of there, there it is. I don't know why people are so quick to say it was that person's fault and that person alone. There's a shared responsibility here. Not even getting Show into me. the fact that Alec Baldwin was the executive producer. And Show was me. Like that, not, right, right, irrelevant, irrelevant pivot, irrelevant pivot, irrelevant pivot, irrelevant pivot, irrelevant pivot. Irrelevant pivot. Okay. Show me where. Show me somewhere in an article where it was Alec Baldwin's responsibility to clear the gun or double check the gun. Oh wait. That's not what's at fault here. The fault was pointing and pulling the trigger. Okay, so you're Recklessly. so then tell me. Stop saying recklessly, okay? You're telling me because it was reckless. You keep saying misfire, and I'm not. I never said misfire. I never said it was a misfire. It doesn't make sense to call I did it a misfire. Hear you say misfire. <laughs> I said on ranges where misfires happen. You're saying misfire now because one dumb fuck in your misfires chat said don't, don't call happen. it a misfire. I'm, this was not a misfire. I'm not talking about a misfire, okay? This was a negligent okay. discharge or an you accidental that. discharge. In that's to great the range. that I said you said a million stupid fucking okay. things in this. Okay, don't hold me to uh -huh. misfire. I don't think I've ever Who said this was a misfire. So, in okay, my opinion, you number have one. To. Okay, number one. Okay, I'm just looking for you to show me anywhere that this was Alec Baldwin's responsibility. Number two, are you seriously telling me that there is no cause ever for an actor to aim a gun at a camera lens? 
I don't believe that he was aimed from from what this article says. It does not seem like that's what happened. Okay, now, where in the article do you see that? Article. Read it to me. Stop just saying random okay, shit. I, okay, Every okay. time you answer a question, you start I, you blur, you vomit it, out you, a bunch okay, of random shit up. afterwards when to obfuscate what you're saying. So when just, I tried yeah. to read it to you, you told me to shut up. Okay. So, no, no, I said no. I said I'm going to read this myself. Yes. So now I'm going to okay, wait for you exactly. to read it, and you point me okay. here where you say that's not the case. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Let's see where is it? Wait. Shit. Which one was it? Hold on, let me grab it. I somehow I closed it. Okay. Um, okay. It says um, Susan and Hutchins were standing behind the camera. Hold on. Susan and Hutchins were standing behind the camera to see the angle. Baldwin was sitting on a wooden pew facing south towards the camera and crew in Western garb. After noticing a shadow, Susan and Hutchins repositioned their gear and were talking with Baldwin, who was showing them how he planned to pull the gun from his holster when it discharged. So he wasn't even like rehearsing. He wasn't even like, yeah, you what know. What you literally just described was a rehearsal. Do you understand okay, but that? He wasn't like in character being. Filmed, you don't have like to be in character. Scene. It sounds like they were trying to check a shot. Like that's Wait, literally I'm what you just described. I'm not going to disagree that like I believe this was a horrible accident. Wait, 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 they checked the camera one time. They said, this doesn't look good. So they moved the camera and then they checked the shot again. And when they were checking the shot again, his weapon went off. He shot his weapon. Does that seem like what they happened? They were talking to Baldwin, who was showing them how he planned to pull the gun from the holster when it discharged. Okay, Wait, yes. That should say when he discharged it. Sorry. Sure. They, they, they made a typo there. Okay. So it sounds like they were rehearsing a shot. It sounds like the two people were standing behind the camera. They were moving the camera. They checked the shot. That's not how it sounds to me. It sounds to me like they repositioned and then they were talking to him and he was showing them how he was going to pull the gun out and was pointing it at them. Be because they were behind the camera checking the shot. He's probably seeing how it looks when he pulls the gun out in the new like frame. That would be my guess. They repositioned the camera so he is talking to them about how the shot looks. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Why did he pull the trigger? Maybe because that's part of the scene. That's part of rehearsing a scene. Well, that's a problem because he pointed it at a person in, a, in the direction of a person where a person could reasonably be expected to get hit and he pulled the trigger, dude. What is the protocol to make sure that your firearm shouldn't be shooting real rounds? Well, if you're, I think that from what I've seen and I've seen a lot of different sources on this, it seems that that varies based on whether or not you're pointing it at a person. So what does your article say? So the one that I found was the, the Screen Actors Guild thing that said, first and foremost, like in bold letters, always treat every gun on set like it's loaded, like a real gun like okay, it's loaded. You're being, I, okay, all right, I, I don't know. So what happens when I show you 50 million scenes of hostages being taken with guns aimed at their heads? Are all of those actors I'm violating that protocol? I'm that all of these safety protocols had been followed to So the what, TV. they're wearing fucking Kevlar vests on their heads? Or what do you mean? Actually, I did read an article that said that, that actors, when they're actually having blanks pointed mm -hmm. at them, are supposed to wear protection like that. Okay, cool. I'm going to yeah. go and find you a bunch of movie scenes where people are being held hostage, and I want you to tell me if you think they're wearing Kevlar on their fucking head, okay? <laughs> because they cheat the angles. Or mm -hmm. if yep. they're not cheating the angles and they can't, like, like here's, mm -hmm. here's the, the protocol. Uh -huh. If they can avoid pointing it at a person, they're supposed to. Right? Okay. Die yes before no. I do. Yep. Okay. Here. Well, let's why I'm, okay. I'm just YouTubing shit yes right now because no, I'm just yes I'm just no. curious. Here. Hold on. Hold yep. on. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna do your strategy. Yes. Yep. yes okay. No. Yep. Now I want you okay. to go to 209 in this video and I want you to tell me if it looks like he's cheating the shot. Okay. Okay. I, like Destiny, I don't need. I, no. No. I want. I want you to tell me he's cheating. And if okay. he's not, I want you to tell me if he if he um if he has Kevlar on his head. Maybe they CGI'd it out. No, I, that, I'm mm -hmm. not gonna look at that. That's stupid. Okay. Then your point is stupid because this guy right now is violating. You're missing my point. No. You're missing my point. You keep saying. You keep regurgitating. This this no, rehearsed talking point, point because you can't engage guns in the are conversation. Not supposed to be pointed at people and let if you can help it. Okay. okay. And if you can't help it, there's supposed to be an extra layer of checks that involve the actor or actress actually seeing mm -hmm. the state of the weapon. So can you show me that? Can you show me that the um, protocol okay. on this set somebody was that an says, actor is supposed to clear the I don't care what somebody says. Okay. okay? Uh, I'm looking at okay. Like, well, this is interesting because I'm being told that 
the guns that pointed at people are non-functional and not even supposed to have blanks in them which is which falls in line with what i've read because like if you're pointing a blank and there's a blank in the gun that's what they consider to be a live round there's supposed to be like a plexiguard shield people are supposed to have eye protection mm -hmm. okay I mean, it's so a whole thing. so can you tell me every single time okay when when there is a person being held hostage do they have plexiglass surrounding their head or do you think there might be times on set because when people are, are aiming? Because these are not loaded with blanks yes, or anything. Yes, I agree with you. They're not okay. loaded. When Alec Baldwin was handed the gun, he was told that it wasn't loaded. What are you not understanding well, okay, about this? They're supposed to be triple checked. There's like an extra layer when you're pointing a gun at somebody. They're, like, the, yes, I do think that Alec Baldwin with hit, like, listen, I might okay. be willing to yield on this a little. If it had been, this would, were some like B-levels movie star that I've never even heard of who's like, unheard of and probably mm -hmm. super inexperienced but like i'm considering as well that this is alec fucking baldwin this guy has been doing this for decades he and so when your assistant director better, hands you a firearm when the protocol on set is that he hands you a firearm and, and and that firearm is supposed to have been cleared by both the ad and the armorer you think that he should have checked it anyway? Do you think that that's like what they should it's be doing? It's supposed to be checked in front of him. Yes. Okay. Can but you show if, me where that was? Has there been any has there been any testimony or anything where where that is the case? Also, do you think well, that's even? We'll have to even, wait and see. I don't know yet. That's my I mean, line. That's my line. No, no, no. That's my <laughs> argument. That, I don't want to hear your line of like, we ought to wait and see when you're doing just as much throwing out could have, would have, could have, should have. Yeah, the I reason know. why I'm throwing out would have, could have is because I'm trying to show you that jumping to conclusions is bad. We're no, not the same. No, that's not what you're I'm doing. Making, you I'm, lying. Quit no, lying, I'm not, dude. Do you not that understand not, that? This is not all. You're not like making up these like, oh, maybe he was pointed at the camera and this and this were happening to teach me a lesson. Like. Is that what you're saying? No, when I, well, I guess if that's how you want to take it. What I'm saying is that there are 10 things that could have happened. So maybe we should wait for all the facts to come out before saying this is definitely what happened. I'm we're trying pretty to say, sure that these facts have already come out. You didn't and even, the only thing that we're waiting for is to figure out why there were live rounds and what happened on this, the other side that could have been prevented. I agree that there's more we need to know about like why there was a round in the gun and why that wasn't checked for sure. Yeah, but but the, as far as like what happened with Alec Baldwin, I think that we're, we've got as much detail as we're gonna we, get. But I mean, if this the is like standard South operating, facing, he was facing South and sitting in this if angle the standard, of a I mean, if the standard, like this is really detailed. If the standard, op it's really detailed. You don't know any of them until you just read this to me on stream, okay? No, if I the, didn't. It, I read it, it before I came no, on here. That's you why didn't. I was telling you that's why time. initially, yes, did. that's why initially don't you didn't tell me. Sh don't you didn't know. You literally didn't don't know about the up. camera shit. I'm looking at the clip. Do you want to watch the clip with me? You literally didn't know no, that. I don't know why you're just going. I, I did know that. Okay. Okay. I did know that. Not only that, but two, your article literally says every single thing that I said. That he was aiming at the camera lens. That he was pointing at the camera. That he was rehearsing a scene. It says everything that I said. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It says that he was sitting in a pew practicing a draw. That's rehearsal. Talking to, to the people. Okay. But regardless. No, not regardless. Like, you're saying me, he wasn't rehearsing. You're yes, saying he is. was recklessly pointing the gun at people. That's what you said. He was recklessly I pointing do. the gun at people. I, no, well, no. I so what was it? Was it rehearsal or was not, it reckless? I didn't know. I see he was being reckless because he shouldn't have been pointing the gun at somebody and pulling the trigger without knowing that there was a bullet in the gun or not. But if the, there was but a if the responsibility, the he didn't even know that the gun was empty. He was told that it was cold okay. by his AD. So if you're at, so, I mean, I understand the, the nuances between like real life and like set life, right? My argument is that that shouldn't happen. That shouldn't be there. There shouldn't be any, any like way that that can happen, right? It, here's, so here's I, the problem, okay, is that I don't know what their protocols on set are. It might be the case. Now, I'm not saying that it could be, okay? I'm saying that it might be the case that maybe you don't want actors fucking with weapons. If I was hypothetically in some world where I was forced to put on a fucking show where, where fifth graders are shooting firearms at each other, if that was the case and I was the person responsible for those firearms, if I clear a gun and I hand it to a kid, I don't ever want them fucking with the action. I don't ever want them racking a slide or doing any crazy shit like that because I don't know what the fuck they're going to be doing. If I clear a weapon and I give it to somebody and that's my... Don't, why are you saying what? What part of that didn't make sense to you? Okay, yeah, no. You're no, can you wait a minute? No, 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 no. You no, 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 no. a gun yeah. to a kid or a new shooter and you tell them it's cold, you don't want them messing with it at all? If that is the case, if these people have no training, if they're beginning, if I clear a gun and I hand it to somebody, it might be the case that on that set, I they don't want them training. fucking with it. My, if, like you're, you're picking on this one subtweet when I'm, the main tweet was actually a call for everyone to be trained on gun safety. Everyone to be trained on gun safety. 
Okay. Right. That was the point that I was making. Just no, because I the made point, a subtweet no, in response to somebody the, else, no. and, and then eventually, like mm-hmm. that, devolved into. A, so a the point that you have made several times in this conversation is Alec Baldwin was complacent, and that it was his fault that somebody I got shot. I agree. I, I, yeah. I but I you have nothing to support complacent. any of that. You literally have nothing. I do to have. Any of that. You, you have nothing to support that he was just. You know. I mean, look. You I mean, I can, I can actually just either. use the article that you gave me to support my whole argument. I have if I the wanted same to be, article, it, and I'm yeah, but you can't read for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, uh, if I wanted mm-hmm. to just like take an absolutist position, then I would just quote your article and say, "Oh, look, this wasn't Alec Baldwin's problem at all. Actually, the fault lies 100 percent with the assistant director and the army." I don't care what Variety.com's opinion or then why are you is. linking me a Variety.com article? That, because we were talking about the, the 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 actual like details of where he was standing and all of that. That's what was important there. And this is the only place that I found it, like that exact statement. Okay, so, so what are you basing? So then, what are you basing your opinion off of? Plenty of other articles. Link link me. What what other articles? What am I basing my opinion on? That somebody has a like some form of blame if they are pointing a gun at somebody and they pull the trigger and then that gun goes off and kills that person? Is that what you're asking me? Where does that come from? That comes from common sense and years and years and years of being a firearm instructor. Let's say that it is the case that the responsibility for clearing these things is is the sole responsibility of the armorer and the assistant director. Would you still place the blame on the actor if they were handed a gun and they were told it was cold? Yeah. What, oh, say that again. Sorry, I was trying to moderate my chat because some people in here are being. Let's say that you up. are on set, and let's say that the standard operating procedure, your protocol, is the armorer gets a firearm, they check the barrel, they make sure that it's clear, then they give it to the uh-huh. assistant director who checks the barrel, looks at the fire, makes sure it's clear. Mm-hmm. Then that's handed to Which an clearly didn't happen. actor, and then that's handed uh-huh. to an actor, and that's the standard operating it, procedure. Would you say that the no, actor is? The, well, no, let me yeah. finish one so, fucking sentence. Okay. If the, oh. if the actor fires afterwards and somebody gets hurt, do you blame the actor for that? If they are pointed at a person, there's supposed to be an extra step where the person hands the gun to the, the actor and shows them that the gun is clear. Okay, can you, show me, can you show me and that Alan anywhere? Can you, show me, that. can you show me that? Yeah, I am... Um, fuck. Yeah, hold on. Well, I mean, I just had a pull. Safety protocols... Um, yeah, I, I think that I'm not saying that they should clear it themselves. I agree. That's ridiculous. Wait, then how are the mass actors? Well, then what are they? What are they supposed to be? When the person hands it to them, they're supposed to show them that physically. Here, I'll show you. Gun safety protocols are rigid on film and TV sets. This should never have happened. Okay, hold on. Let's see if this one Oh boy. That sounds like a great article. Um, well, it's USA Today. Calm down. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Now these are this is so much. Onset guns checked, checked, rechecked. Um. This is a long ass article. Okay, it sounds like you haven't read um, this okay. article yet, if but you're about to cite it. Points, no, 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 wait, well, don't, okay. just give me the you article. Ask me to. Sure, give me the article. I don't need you to read to me. It's not bedtime for me, okay? I can, I can read on my own. I don't know why you think you have to read the articles to me. Okay, hold on. Yo, thank you, Svampin, for gifting five subs. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, here, I'm going to give you this one, and then I'm going to try to find one that has, like, the specific thing that I was talking about earlier. Because that one doesn't... I, I don't know. I haven't been able to look at it at all. Easy guns. Uh... 
Um, blanks can kill. Refrain from pointing a firearm at yourself or anyone else. Never place your finger on the trigger till you're ready to shoot. Anyone involved in using a firearm must be thoroughly briefed. You're, you're, this is psychosis. Me. You're doing right. it again. Do you understand? But how is this psychosis? I'm reading from you're, BBC. Because you're Test repeating me. things at me that we've already established are okay, not true. Just, that there I, are going to be times when you're aloud, aiming. I'm just talking okay. aloud right, to myself. Okay, all right, gotcha. Okay, okay, gotcha. You're just Jesus. saying random shit out loud. Okay, okay, gotcha. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just reading to myself. Okay, Calm down. Gotcha. All right. Any actors required to stand near the line of first few witness? Yes, okay. Um, okay, this is a really, this BBC one's probably even better than that USA Today one that's kind of jumbled. This one's probably pretty good. So this is, these are what I, what I heard, but I also saw another one that was um, saying that if a person is being pointed at there's an extra layer of, of steps to go through. Okay, I just want to read one thing that you linked me. So this is the USA Today article, okay? Okay. First, mm -hmm. the weapon is fetched from a safe. It is immediately checked to make sure there's no ammunition in the chamber. This is often done by shining a flashlight into the barrel or by using a thin rod pushed through the chamber. The weapon is brought by an armorer to a prop master, the prop master will perform this exact same check and then put the gun back into its protective sleeve. Once on the set, the gun goes through the same check in the presence of the assistant director. I'm usually a nervous wreck when we have to use firearms on a shoot because it is a weapon and you can't be complacent, says Walters, mm -hmm. who lives in northern New Mexico and has spent plenty of time mm -hmm. on Western-style films the state has attracted for nearly a century, which is far too okay. serious a thing to take lightly. At this point in the process, there are options. If the actors and crew are rehearsing, often a rubber replica gun is handed to the actor. If at the next stage of blocking the scene, a real weapon is acquired by the director, then the thoroughly checked empty weapon is brought out. Once the scene is ready to be shot, the prop master armor will load prepared blanks with no bullet tips into the gun's chamber. We'll put in not one more than the number of shots the actor plans to shoot, Walters says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once the weapon is loaded and in the actor's hand, an assistant director typically yells, guns hot, and the scene is shot. Where, where in this does it say that the... Keep going farther down. What? Okay. Okay. Um, so... Nowhere in here does it say an actor is required to be the one that checks the weapon. No, nobody says that. I never You're said saying, that either. then what is, okay. when, how is it um, Alec okay, Baldwin's listen, fault? Okay, this is the point that I was, this is, you, you didn't read far enough down. Okay. If the actor points the weapon in the general direction of the crew or the camera, measures are taken. Plexiglass shields with holes for the camera lens are crafted to protect operators from muzzle flashes or gas discharges, even though they're typically never closer than 15 feet from the weapon. The camera operator might also wear a special suit for protection. These days, you can set up a camera for remote control, and frankly, if there's no one in the direction of where the actor is shooting, even better. Okay, now, so to me, that means that they should have had better safety it, it sounds to place, me, right? if we use our brains while we read this, it sounds to me like if you're planning on doing a shot where the person is going to be firing blanks, you would absolutely take these precautions. But it sounds like they didn't plan on that happening okay. because the actor was supposed to be using a gun without any live rounds. Right. Okay. Now look at the BBC article here. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I, I'm only going to read like, well, wait, 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 wait. I, I just want, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what you sure. asked okay, me for. I understand. Okay. But at this point, this is going to be the third article that you've linked me that is totally you supported. Asked me to. I understand no. because I thought you were, okay. because I thought you'd read I, something I that, that like that exactly the everything. The article ev wasn't no, no. That great. And the other okay. article that you read me, all of these are okay. instantiating my points. But, okay? it, but it doesn't actually diminish my point either. So it just doesn't actually have a full. Okay. I hope that the BBC article says something more because in the first part, it says who is responsible for weapon safety on film sets, the responsibility for the use of guns and other weapons lies with each production's Absolutely property agree. master or armory yeah. expert. Yes, we agree. Okay, now now go down to where it talks about um, any actor who's required to stand in the line of fire should be allowed to witness the loading of the firearms. And then I'm trying to find this other one here. because Any actor who is required to stand in the line of fire should be allowed to witness the loading of fire. Do you understand that that's not the same yeah. as required to clear the firearm? You understand that those two I things are- I didn't aren't... ever say that the actor should clear the firearm. I so, said that the person responsible for the firearm clears it in front of the actor. You don't that's have to I do that. It doesn't say you have to do that. It says that if you are, it you're allowed you to- should do that. Okay. Where? Show me. Show me where it says should. Show me that word. Um, hold on. Any, Any actor, actor who is required, required to stand, stand near, near the line of, line of fire should be allowed. To should be allowed. Should be okay, allowed. Said, so, okay, you said show. No, 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 no. Or should. Wait, do you understand uh, the difference? Wait, no, no, hold on. Or... Do you understand the difference between should do something and should be allowed to do something? Or do you think those are the same thing? 
I think that absolutely, if a gun is being pointed at a person, there needs to be checks where the this isn't, what, you're, you're, this is psychosis. This is psychosis. You're being psychotic. Okay, you're <laughs> why talking. You, is this why is this your new favorite word? I've never even because heard you I'm say this starting before. to notice more that when I talk with people, they can't engage with the conversation, and you're doing okay. this really fucking annoying thing where instead of answering a question, as soon as I ask you like, do you think that one plus one equals two? You go, you're well, one plus one could have this mathematical property where you know so. other things happen, and I live in California, and you know I pay all these taxes, and it's, you're like you're saying a whole bunch of random shit that has nothing to do with the question that I'm asking. So my question was very simply is, do you think that should is the same thing as should be allowed to? I don't care about your opinions on gun safety or how you think the protocol should be or what you think. Well, I'm just asking, do you think that those two things are the same thing? Should and should be allowed to. Right. Um, okay. I don't, okay, let's see this one. There's another one talk from the SAG Guild that talks about never pointing a gun at anyone. This is psychosis! Um, You're doing it again! Okay, I love what you. Do you. It's mean? been fun. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how many times. I, I don't SAG know. SAG rules state that actors should never point the gun at anyone. All you have to do is just Google that and you'll get a billion article results. Okay. First of all, was this a SAG production? I thought that this explicitly wasn't like a, the screen actors that weren't involved you, with the shit. Are you really going to try to like play semantics? So this is Alec Baldwin. How is it semantics? I don't, I don't know. You I thought don't that, think that Alec Baldwin I thought was that a the point. I thought that the point was that they brought in like a non-whatever production crew to this. I thought I read this. I, I might be wrong. That was my understanding, but I could be um, wrong. I think that the union workers walked off the set because of safety issues. Okay, I don't know if they brought in a non-union crew afterwards. Okay, so then if they brought in a non-union crew, it sounds... Also, you're repeating the same thing. Okay, fuck. <laughs> Number one, if they brought in a non-union crew, then there's probably different protocols in place, which means you still can't establish that this is Alec Baldwin's fault. Number one, okay? Number two, you're still repeating this point about how you should never point a gun at anybody, which we, I feel like I've demonstrated a million times. Because, no, because, is, no, all I said was if you're going... It, I understand that there's a difference between shooting a gun, like pointing a gun at a person on like the range, it like, you know, it, like a gun range, right? And pointing it at a person on a movie scene. The point is that if you're going to point it at a person on the movie scene, you're supposed to have extra layers of protection. No, you're wrong. Yeah. You have those extra layers of protection if you're firing blanks. But the point is, is that he was handed a gun that was supposed to be cold. And That's the whole point. At somebody. Yeah, because he thought there was nothing in it. He thought it was empty. He thought it was dry firing. If you or I were in that situation and we tried to make that argument that we thought that there was nothing in the gun, honestly, we probably would not be charged or convicted or go to jail. If I was, was in a situation, if I was being instructed by somebody <laughs> so, else. Same thing with him. You're, like, he's not going to no, go to jail. He's not going to get convicted. You're rambling. You're psychotic. You're rambling on random this shit right so now. This is so weird of you to it's say that I'm rambling. Because, because you're, like, you're just it. saying so much random shit. I don't even know if you're where you're doing it, okay? If I'm on a set, okay, and there is a strict line of liability for who's going to be in charge or who's going to fuck up if something, who's going to be fucked up if, if something goes wrong. If Let's say there is an assistant director and a prop master, and they have 100% of the liability of the safety of those firearms, okay? Not only would I probably not clear the gun given to me by them, if I was one of them and I saw somebody clear a gun, I would smack the fuck out of them and I would say, don't touch my fucking firearm. I'm responsible for what happens to this shit, so I'm going to clear it and I'm going to give it back to you, and if you touch it again, you're, I'm leaving the fucking set. That's what I'm I would so say. Violent. Because, Jeez, because you're you're, no, 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 I'm not an actor. Okay? Okay. Because you have no concept of liability here. You're, you're just, you're totally like in a whole other world, okay? If the liability for a negligent discharge rests on two other people clearing the firearm, you better fucking believe that they're not going to want a random dipshit actor fucking racking the slide I, to see if shit works. First of all, you're going on and on about something I never said. I you never explicitly said, actor, said no, wouldn't no, you clear no, the gun? Not. You said, I wouldn't you clear? You asked, you told me. The actor needs to clear the gun. You, I said the actor needs to see the gun cleared. But that you never right. stopped. I, I've always. You can go back to my old vods and dissect them if you want. Wait, I have always. Did you held not literally? I it was stupid. Hold on. I thought it was stupid. How many gun industry people harped on the fact that he didn't clear the gun himself? To me, that's silly. Like I wouldn't want an actor doing that either. That would be ridiculous. There'd be blanks flying everywhere. It would be a huge mess, and it would take a lot of time. No. What I said was that the actor should be able to see that the gun is unloaded, no. and he should take that on himself to act to ask before he points it at a person. Why would he? Ask when the they trigger. told him it was cold when they gave it to him. What is he saying? Like, what is, what is he supposed to say? Are you sure? Ownership. My point is that my point this whole time has been that no person who is a responsible gun owner and has been instilled the rules of gun safety. You're, you're, you have psychosis. You repeated guns. the rules hold again. On. Okay, I Don't love you. It's been fun. Okay, 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 hold on. There's plenty of antipsychotics. People prescribe them. Talk to somebody. You got it. I can't. I can't. I love you. Okay. 
I, I, can't, I can't have, I can't do it. I need to play League of Legends. I just want to play video games. I, I can't have them repeating the same fucking words. Am I crazy? I can't tell if I'm going crazy. She's like repeating the same bullshit arguments like blah, 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 four rules of gun, blah, blah, blah. We've already, I, 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 but, I, but I might be crazy. I might be too emotional and I'm just missing half the conversation. I might be fucking crazy, okay? I did a lot of mushrooms two or three years ago, all right? I've done a lot of drugs over the past couple years, okay? I've done the LSDs, done some nitrous oxide. Maybe I blew my brain up. Maybe I'm losing it, okay? I might be, I might be fucking losing it, okay? But in my crazy, in my crazy brain, okay, the feeling I'm having is that she's repeating the same fucking debunk shit over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. She keeps saying the four rules. She keeps saying, don't point a gun at somebody. We've already said that this doesn't apply on a set. This is, this is what, um, this is what a, uh, if you do a lot of psychedelics, you enter these things called thought loops, okay? This is, what, this is what a thought loop is, okay? When you repeat the same shit over and over again, and you feel like you're trapped in it, you can never break out. You're never gonna get out, and you aren't, okay? If you're listening to me right now and you're high, you're never gonna get out. You're stuck there forever. Look around, nothing around you is real. You're stuck in that loop for a long time, infinite amounts of time. Somebody's gonna make it out of that trip and it's not gonna be you. You're there forever, okay? I hope at least one of you are high when you're watching this, okay? Get fucked. Before we move on from this subject, okay, I just want to be ultra fucking clear, okay? It might actually be the case that there was a procedure on set that Alec Baldwin explicitly didn't follow. It might be the case that he is 95% responsible for what happened, okay? It might be the case that he decided to take shortcuts in terms of like um, how the gun should be handled on set. Maybe, for instance, Maybe it comes out and somebody was like earlier when they were handing him a gun, he was like, oh, no, 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 don't, who cares? Don't, you, you said it's good, right? Assistant director? Yeah, just give me it, it's fine, right? It's fine, and right? It might be the case that it comes out and that is the case. And you know what? If that does happen, I'll be like, yeah, it was Alec Baldwin's, 100% it was his fault, 100%. Yeah, he fucked up, 100%. There are other people that are responsible too, but he, it could have stopped with him, right? But that information isn't there yet, okay? That information isn't there. When you explicitly asked her if there was a difference between should and should be allowed to, and she just, I, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm noticing behaviors from certain people because I'm trying to, I think I said this before, that like I'm trying to be more assertive because I, I went into cuck mode for 2019, 2020, where I'm trying to find this balance between like, how do I be like amenable in, in arguments? Like, how do I be like approachable, nice? Like I'm understanding you, like I'm open and responsive, right? But also like still firm in my positions. And I think I went too far into the like, like, oh, I'm just gonna let you talk over me, blah, 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 and oh, blah, 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 right? But now I'm trying to be like still agreeable, but when I, I'm noticing some things that are happening with certain people, here is a speech thing that I've noticed, okay? Anna did this a lot, Zerka does this, BX Bullet just did, did this, uh, the Tristan guy did this. Here, here's like a dialogue that I'll notice, okay? <clears throat> Let's say that I'm trying to ask a question, okay? Were there crayons in the room, okay? Let's say that this is, let's say that this is the question. I'm trying to figure out, were there crayons in this room, okay? H here's how the conversation goes with some of these people. I don't know how or why, okay? But I'll be like, hey, were there any crayons in that room? <clears throat> well, I don't know, I saw a lot of things in the room, <clears throat> and I think that altogether, I think that we need to be more careful about like the types of things that we have in rooms, and I think that we need to like do a really, oh, okay, hold on. Were there, were there any crayons? When you went in the room, did you see any crayons? Okay, I walked into the room, okay? I looked through a lot of places, and I think that in general, I think that like having markers and stuff and all these other things in rooms, I just think it's a really bad idea. And I don't, no, 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 I'm answering your question, I'm answering your question, okay? I just, there's like a whole bunch of things going on. Um, like I've seen crayons in so many different places. Hold on, I'm, I'm answering, I'm answering. I've seen crayons in like a lot of different places, um, and there's like so many better ways that this could be handled. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. I don't know why you're saying so much shit. And you're not, you're just, you're, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know, I don't know who you're talking to right now, okay? Okay. Did you see any crayons in the room, okay? <clears throat> okay. When I walked in the room, I looked everywhere for crayons. And I, I, earlier I saw like three different people were coming in and out. They had markers, they had crayons, they were all sorts of other, it's like, and I feel like, I feel like I, I've, I've ran into people where when I'm having conversations with them, there's like, there's like some fucking thing where they just, they, everything is like missing the point. And it's like, they're unable to engage with the fucking words that I'm saying. They, they can't, they just can't hear what I'm saying. And they, they just like a whole bunch of random fucking shit. Like just random fucking shit keeps coming out of their mouths. And, and I don't know, I don't know why. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. 
and I'm gonna call it psychosis from now on, okay? These people are having a psychotic experience, okay? Where I define psychosis as you're having a sensory experience that's not of this world, okay? You are receiving sense data from another dimension and I don't have access to it. So all I can do is say you're being psychotic and try to pull you back in, okay? Because that's definitely effective and it'll definitely work, okay? Like, <sighs> and people should follow the four rules of gun ownership. <laughs> Actually, right. as an actor, you know, the leap is that he was that he was pointing it at the person he was supposed to point in the scene, but he wasn't. He was pointing at the director carelessly. Stop saying he was pointing. At the, he was pointing at the camera. The director was behind the that camera. That's true. I don't think okay, that's so true. The gun, so are you saying that the uh, the bullet went through the camera? Like that's what through? that's what I have read over and I over again. I haven't read that. If you could send that to me, I would love to see it. But she does this thing where she always links me articles because she did this on the Vax debate too. She links me articles, and the articles end up proving my point. Where it says like, "Oh yeah, he was pointing it in the direction of the lens." <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Google Alec Baldwin point gun camera. We'll see if any stories come up. Okay. Oh, the the tweet that um, the tweet that she did that just triggered the fuck out of me was. <clears throat> It really is true that Alec Baldwin's anti-gun stance led to him shooting that woman. He's so anti-gun that he refuses to even learn to respect them as deadly weapons, all the while profiting obscenely off of movies that glorify gun violence. This was the tweet that she did. I was like, bro, how can you know any of this? Like, what do you mean? That was the tweet that she tweeted that triggered the fuck on me. That's why I agreed to, to have an argument with her. Because I was like, bro, how, you don't know any of the details of this shit. How the fuck can you say this? Um, I think she was trying to change her point into how protocol should be changed. Yes, which and I agree with you, which is something like her original point. I agree. If you think the protocol should be changed, that's fine. But that's also a separate conversation. Because again, we have liability, liability. If you're ever curious about why things are the way they are in the world and you're missing something, one of the avenues that you can look down is liability. The, que the answer or the question is, whose ass is it going to be if shit gets fucked? Sometimes that will tell you why people in certain like corporate arrangements, especially acting the way that they act, liability, right? Let's say that it is the case that on a set, the firearms are strictly the liability of the armor, the prop master, and the um, assistant director, okay? Let's say that these are three separate distinct people that all are ultimately responsible for these firearms. If that is the case, then my imagination would be that they probably explicitly wouldn't want actors doing anything with the firearm that they're not instructed to do. Meaning no racking the slide, no trying to clear shit, no taking the magazine in and out of the gun. You don't want to introduce any more uncertainty into that situation than absolutely necessary. So it might be the case that even in a perfect world, you don't actually want the actor to check the weapon. If they want to stand by and watch the qualified people do it, that's fine. If I was in, who is he talking to? Probably the 7,000 people watching, okay? Hey, Iremius, you are psychotic. Goodbye, okay? Get therapy. Antipsychotics, check them out. Sometimes I use them to treat OCD, okay? Go, go Google, go get a therapist, go get your prescription. You can do it, my dude, okay? Take this VOD to your fucking doctor or whatever, and you can cite me, all right? I'm there, I'm right by you, buddy. I'm walking right by you, I'm walking by you strong, okay? Walking into that doctor's office. We're gonna get you the help that you need. Just send me an email, okay? I'll shoot the clip towards you. If you need like a fucking witness or whatever, I'll come in and help you out, okay? Look well, at my gun instructor, dog. Shut I'm gonna the shoot fuck someone. Up, all right, it's a stupid fucking meme. Stop. Oh my god. I, I think I burned that bridge. I, I. She like she's. Steve, do you have any crayons? Crayons, Dan? No, no. Crayons? Yeah, crayons. No, I don't have crayons, Dan. What the hell is a crayon? Do you think I was crazy in that conversation, or was she legitimately not responding to anything I was saying? Destiny. Crayons. Crayons. Yes, your point about hostages was dumb. Movies should use fake guns for scenes unless there's a shot being made. When you're firing a blank with two... I'm just saying, Jamie... Hello, gamers. Can I get a poggers in chat? The four rules don't apply to a set. That's just so dumb. Obviously, the four rules don't apply to a set. There's like... You, you're breaking... You're breaking every single rule. Are the rule. four rules of you're... gun safety in the room with us right now? No, yeah, I don't know. You're always breaking gun rules on set. If you're, if you're handling a live firearm, almost necessarily... People are too glued to their script. These small, such specific questions you ask truly reveal that, or it's a reflection on fragile. I think that's why I don't like the video essays. So that's why I like to be able to talk to people. That thing is real. Am I you? Because sometimes when I ask people a simple question, what I imagine would be a simple question, um, th and then they totally break. And I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? Hold on. I think the biggest thing that's annoying to me is that 
all these people like Alec Baldwin who are super anti-gun lobbyists, right? Well, you told me so. I was always saying that there was no way that he would be exonerated. <laughs> I already made up my mind, but I was waiting for like the actual details to come out so that I could just- It's psychosis. I live in a world of psychotic people, okay? I live in a world of psychotic people. You and me, okay? <clears throat> when you hear about psychotic people, they're on the TV screen in front of you. When I hear about psychotic people, they're in the TV screen with me. Okay, we're not the same, okay? We're not the same. We don't have the same experience. <laughs> she had already made up her mind. Uh, not even before our talk. She made up her mind before any information came out. I think the biggest thing that's annoying to me is that all these people like Alec Baldwin who are super anti-gun lobbyists, right? Well, you told me so. I was always saying that there was no way that he would be exonerated. <laughs> I already made up my mind, but I was waiting for like the actual details to come out so that I could decide what level of culpability he had. <laughs>